the Bible says, man, I have not seen nor ear heard nor entered into the hearts of man the things that God hath prepared for them that love him. So if we, like this fella, want Christ to wait until we enjoy what we're doing longer, it's because we are uninformed as to what God's plans are. Regardless of what we're doing, what he has in mind for us is much, much better. And so anyway, as we travel through this area where Christ spent most of the three and a half years witnessing to people himself, the Bible prophesied in Daniel that he would confirm the covenant with many for one week. Now for three and a half years, Christ confirmed the covenant in person. For three and a half, four years, his hand-picked disciples confirmed the covenant in Christ's stead. And then, of course, you and I today are bearing witness of all of this in Christ's stead. He's not here anymore except, you know, in spirit. But you and I are his modern disciples, and he is counting on us to share the proof that the Father has provided for us to bear a saving witness to souls who are in darkness around us. And folks, there is no greater joy than seeing someone realize what God has done for them and make the decision to come to him in the name and blood of his son and be saved. And that can be our joy. And I hope that during this trip, all of us will go home better equipped to bear that witness to those that are seeking truth. Getting off the boat now. I uh, 